Hi, my name is Dr. Thomas Joseph, and I am course instructor for C215 Operations Management course. Uh, we want to discuss a small component from our operating efficiency, um, competency, scheduling. So let's begin, first of all, by defining what scheduling is. Scheduling is planning out what needs to be done. In essence, it's writing out the activity. We can look at scheduling as a to-do list. Most of us, um, when we planning to go to the grocery store to probably get groceries, we have a list of the items that we want to uh, get. So scheduling is about, technically speaking, or creating a to-do list. Effective scheduling is very important to any organization to get things done or even to us as individuals to get things done. It starts with knowing what has to be done, knowing how long it will take to do what needs to be done, knowing who must do what, and then lastly, knowing the priority. Um, that, that last piece is very important because based on that, um, you can identify what to do in order, right? First from first to last. So prioritizing is very important in scheduling. So let's talk a little bit about shop loading methods. And I want to begin this conversation by identifying what loading is not. Because oftentimes when we hear the word loading, um, it's like it shifts our mind from scheduling. We were okay with hearing scheduling. And then when the, then the word term loading is introduced into the conversation, it's like it throws us off a little bit. So loading is not about, and I'm looking practical things, it's not about like loading a wash, wash, your, your, your washer with clothes, or it's not about loading your trunk uh, with your with groceries or uh, when you're heading out of town or anything of that sort. So do not think of loading in the concept of material things, all right? Um, we have to think of loading in terms of scheduling. So in that case, loading is scheduling work, right? Each and, every, each and every one of us who work in whatever organization we work, we have a schedule to follow, 8 to 5, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. We have a graveyard shift. We have an, you might have an afternoon shift or a night shift or whatever. It's really, loading is about scheduling work. Or we could say work scheduling or work loading. These are the same uh, concepts, all right? So from our text, we find two types of loading identified. We have finite loading, which deals, and then we have infinite loading, or rather infinite loading and finite loading. So let's discuss those two types of loading. We'll begin with finite loading. So we hear finite and what comes to mind. In finite loading, Schedules work without regard to a capacity limit or to any capacity limits, all right? Essentially, there are no limitations or it's unlimited. We'll kind of talk about this um, a little bit. Finite loading, on the other hand, schedules work up to a predetermined amount of capacity, that is, their limitations and or it's limited think with me for a moment um, I don't know if you've ever been in that situation but I remember some time ago I was a Verizon customer um, for wireless customer and I had eight gigabytes of data as my data plan essentially I was limited to eight gigabytes of data for the month. I switched to another phone company and I got into a plan that's unlimited data for the month. Most of you, you may have an unlimited 
data plan, which means you have no limitation to the amount of data that you use for the month. Now, uh, just to be a little bit technical, we might see things as if you go over X amount of data, the speed starts to slow down. But at the same time, you do not have a limit to the amount of data that you can use. In finite or in my limited eight gigabytes for the month, I am limited to that amount of data. When I go over that, if I, if when I get to that amount of data use, it ends right there. So finite, infinite loading. Finite loading says there are limitations to the amount of capacity that can be utilized. Or on a project, a manager or project manager is limited to the amount of workers that manager can use for that particular project. It's finite, there are limitations. In infinite loading, the project manager or the manager has no limit to the amount of capacity or the amount of workers that can be used for a particular job. So imagine for a moment, you were a, a team lead and your boss assigned you a project to work on. And the boss says to you, hey, I want this project on, on my desk within the next week or let's say two weeks. Um, I We have a limitations to how much we can spend on this project. So it's going to be you and probably bring about three, maybe four, at most four people to work on this project with you. So it's going to be you and four others. That's the limit, five people maximum, including yourself. So that's limited loading or finite loading. You have a limited amount of workers that can be utilized for this project. If the boss on the other hand says, hey, I just need this on my desk um, in one week or two, can you say so? Um, I know I need a few people to get this done with me. He says, don't worry about it. Um, all I need is just to get it done. So you have an unlimited amount of capacity or workers or people that you can get to help on this project. So it's unlimited. So when you think of finite loading, there's no limitation. None at all. When you think of finite, infinite loading, this is rather, there's no limitation. With finite loading, there is a limitation on the amount of capacity that can be utilized. And as we wrap up, let's, let's talk about two aspects of, of um, um, scheduling. When we talk, first of all, forward schedule. Forwards, in forward scheduling, the job starts immediately. Um, there is no regard to the due date. The, you start right away. And then last thing, it determines the earliest possible time to finish a job. So let's go back to the example that we used a while ago. Your boss said, I want this job. Uh, this project completed within two weeks, okay? Forward scheduling, the job was assigned to you today. You have two weeks to complete it. You figure out, I've got the job done, start right away. You don't wait, you're not thinking two weeks, you're just thinking the job has been assigned to me. I have all the resources, the capacity, the material to get this done. You start on it right away. You just want to get it done so if today is the day that you have the opportunity to start you start right away forward scheduling working ahead of the schedule time the next form of scheduling is backward scheduling which is different from uh, which is slightly opposite from forward scheduling so in backward scheduling the job starts with the due date okay it works backwards to determine a start date. Um, let's go back a little bit. It, 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 it works backward to determine a start date. So let's go back to our example. So your boss says, I want this project on my desk in the next two weeks, right? So you look at the date, that two weeks date, and you count how many activities, it's how long is it going to take me to get this done? So let's say the date is um, September the 10th or the 10th, right? Today is the 25th. So that gives you 15 days to work the project, right? So you got it on the 25th, you have to complete it by the 10th. 
that gives you 15 days from the 25th to the 10th. All right. So you're thinking this is due by the 10th. You look at that due date and you say, okay, I can finish this job within five days. Okay. Five days. You have 15, but when you look at the due, the date that it's due, you count backward and say, all right, I can finish this job on in five days. So you start on that five day from the due date. So that would be 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. So you would more than likely start the job 10 days from the 25th, and which would put you at the fifth of the month to finish within that time. Well, difference between backward and forward scheduling, forward scheduling starts the job immediately, does not think of the due date, just get it, start right away. Backward scheduling looks at the due date and works backwards from there. I hope this has been very beneficial to you and provide some perspective in the idea of, of operating efficiency on the topic of scheduling as we look at finite loading, infinite loading, backward scheduling, and forward scheduling. Thank you and enjoy the rest of it.